At the end of King David's life, the book of Melachim, Kings, in the second chapter, describes his final days using peculiar words, Vayikrevu yeme David lamut, and the days of David came close to death. The sages wonder the use of words since days don't really die, people die. The correct language should have been, and David came close to death, not his days. The answer is based on a famous dictum that the righteous, even after they die, are called living. Tzadikim afilu bemitatam nikraim chayim. For the righteous, the only thing that actually terminates are the days of his life. But his legacy and everything he stood for continues to live forever and ever. Today marks the seventh Hilula, the seventh yard site of Chacham Ovadia Yosef Zecher Tzadik Libracha. I am in no way worthy enough to speak about this Gadol, and whatever I do say won't scratch the surface of who he actually was, both as a Torah scholar and a human being. Yet one thing I know for sure, the legacy that Chacham Ovadia left behind in this world ranks up there with Rashi, Rambam, and few other Torah luminaries who shaped world Jewry. There isn't a Sephardic Jew in the world, observant or non-observant, who hasn't heard his name. There isn't a Sephardic rabbi in the world who hasn't been influenced by one of his teachings. His books are found on the shelves of Orthodox Jews of all types, Hasidic, Yeshivish Litvaks, religious Zionists, and of course, all sects of Sephardim. His works have been studied and analyzed by university professors and debated by some of the great minds of the generation. And although his decisions weren't always accepted, they were consistently respected. Ordination while still a teen, judiciary in his early 20s, deputy chief rabbi of Egypt, head of Jerusalem courts, Sephardic chief rabbi of Tel Aviv, Sephardic chief rabbi of Israel, he accomplished it all. The trickiest questions came to him. The most prominent seeked his advice because he could see things like no one else could. Yet the respect he earned was self-motivated. It was his determination and commitment to reach out to the people and attend to their needs. Late nights and early mornings, preaching and teaching the ways of Torah. Why? Because people were in thirst in search of his wisdom. Because the Torah he taught was accessible to every Jew, and his care and devotion for Klal Yisrael was unmatched. Rabbi Tzvi Chakak acted as the shamash, the attendant for Chacham Ovadia for many years. He relates a story in 2006 when the Chacham, then 86 years old, was taking a helicopter flight to Akko to give words of chizuk and bracha, inspiration and blessing to thousands of Jews in the surrounding area. People waited overnight to have a glimpse of the tzaddik, kiss his hand and receive a blessing for health, sustenance and salvation. As the trip concluded and the rabbi was about to board the helicopter back to Jerusalem, he told his attendant to immediately call an ambulance. The rabbi, who normally didn't complain about any pain, was clearly in discomfort and the paramedics rushed him to the hospital where it was revealed that he had suffered a heart attack and needed emergency bypass surgery. Following the surgery, the attendant, Rabbi Chakak, asked the Chakam, when did you start feeling chest pains? And he answered, about 10 minutes after we took off from Jerusalem. So why didn't you tell me? It was only 10 minutes. We could have flown back to Jerusalem, or at least flown directly to a hospital. His response? Classic. You mean I should go back? and not see the hundreds of Jews waiting for me to get a blessing? They've been on their feet for hours, and I'm just going to leave them there without giving them at least a glimmer of hope? All they wanted was a blessing, and I wasn't going to take that away from them. This is what made him so special. This is why 800,000 people were in attendance at his funeral to say their last goodbye. Thousands tearing their clothing as if it was their own direct relative. It's been seven long years, but his legacy is very much alive. His days have passed, 
בצדיקים אפילו במיתתם נקראים חיים. The righteous, even in their death, are really living. חכם עובדיה's memory lives on. In his books, in his videos, in his lectures, and his miraculous inspiring stories. He is a person whom I've only met once, but I talk to every day. I thank him for his halachic guidance and directive, his instruction and counseling, his advice and input, most importantly, for his extraordinary leadership in helping shape the generation of the yesteryear, today, and beyond. May the zechut of the tzaddik, Hagaon Chacham Ovadia Yosef, Zecher Tzadik Livracha, protect B'nai Israel through these times of Tzarot, and bring the Yeshua and Geula Bekarov with peace, health, and prosperity. Amen. Tehi nafshot zerura, b'tzor ha'chaim.